Dear students, in this video, we will see how we can prepare a model solution. Let's define what is molality. We can define molality as a number of moles of solute dissolved in one kilogram of solvent, which can be written like this. Molality is represented with small m and it is equal to number of moles of solute in divided by kilograms of solvent. Now, these number of moles of solute can be written like this moles is equal to weight of substance divided by molecular weight of substance. Let's put in these number of moles into this first equation in place of number of moles of solute. Then the new equation would be like this. Molality is equal to weight of solute divided by molecular weight of solute into kgs of solvent. In order to simplify it further, we can also take the weight of solvent in grams and convert it into a kilogram. So the new form of this equation would be this. Molality is equal to weight of solute, molecular weight of solute, weight of solvent in grams divided by 1000. Since this is a double division, this 1000 would go up with weight of solute. So our final equation is weight of solute into 1000 divided by molecular weight of solute into weight of solvent in grams. Let's solve a problem to see how we can prepare a model solution. The problem is prepare 0.1 molal NaOH solution in 500 gram of solvent. So our equation is like this. Let's put in the value. So molality of the solution that we are going to prepare is 0.1. Weight of the solute is to be determined. 1000 molecular weight of solute since this is NaOH. The molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram per mole and solvent is already given in grams. So we would insert 500 over here. Let's solve it. Now, this 500 into 40 into 0.1 would be divided by 1000 and this would give us the weight of solute, which is 0.2 gram. So now we have calculated the weight of sodium hydroxide that needs to be put in into 500 gram of water to prepare 0.1 molal solution. Now, weigh out 0.2 gram of sodium hydroxide and also weigh out 500 gram of water and uh, transfer this water as well as this sodium hydroxide into this flask. Shake it well. Now your solution is ready. It must be noted that molal solution is independent of temperature changes. That is why wherever temperature changes involves like determining the depression of freezing point or elevation of boiling point, we need to take molal solution instead of molar solution. Thanks for watching.